Pembiakan ni kilogram? Ini zaku kilo sita. Ini pesa sa sa ini mana dalam ni? It's really a human issue, and I think the way we treat uh, humanity is directly tied to the way that the, the fate of these elephants ends up. Hassan. Mm -hmm. Kazi ni ambali kiasi. Sajua nitokea tukia wadogo, tukia tukia kitambo. Watu anasamanga kwa mdomo. Usee niki kukuta na pemba ndofu, nita kupike risasi, lakini uongo. The, the bush law has kind of been if a ranger sees someone near an elephant with weapons, they can shoot them on sight and they can shoot to kill and there's no repercussions for that. And it's interesting because both sides have very similar motivations. Um, everyone is trying to feed their kids. They're all trying to survive. Um, no one is really feeling like they're coming out on top in this situation. The two sides talk a lot, they're all friends, they all know each other, and also the two sides are very interchangeable. Poachers become rangers and rangers will sometimes, you know, go back to poaching. I mean, they're very conscious of the social and political pressure from the international world. I think when uh, the president of Kenya burned, you know, over 150 million dollars worth of ivory as a symbol of, of, you know, having no acceptance of poaching whatsoever, it sent a shockwave through the community. Um, so they're very aware of how people feel about what's going on, but they also feel like there's a complexity to their lives that is not being talked about, that's not being seen in the media. And that comes down to things like, you know, rangers aren't being paid on time and aren't given the proper equipment to do their jobs well. Um, and poachers feel really bitter that rangers are out there killing poachers with no consequences, and a lot of acts like that are being swept under the rug with no repercussions or no check system. aware that they are becoming endangered on like an intellectual level, but they still see elephants all the time in their areas. So I don't think they actually feel it in a day-to-day -day way. There is a skepticism, I think, locally about what's real and what isn't and what's in the news and the reality that's going on. They don't always trust the things that they hear. Um, so for them, it, you know, it's a little more complicated in that sense. And I'm hoping that this film kind of helps challenge people's preconceived notions and help them understand that there is a gray space in between that a lot of people are existing within. <laughs> Mm -hmm.